to come back and finish you guys. What do we got going on over here? Whipple on Whipple action right here. Your 48 liter V6 comes out of it. See, isn't that crazy? That that blower is as big as a uh, V6 engine. 3 0. That's pretty wild if you ask me. Got the squad rolling out today. Oscar, what do you think? Ready to get some food or what? Yeah. <laughs> I heard those get heat though. Probably. We're here with Project Two Bob. Tell tell the story of what happened last night. No, uh, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I got three neutrals Jeez. in my name. Yes. But to to be fair, we have another one on deck at home, right? Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, we do. Hopefully. We're gonna put a um a MT82 in his car. Oh shoot. I'll break through the roof. Alright, we got Jared Davis with uh Shelby GT500. <laughs> Let's do it. a post game interview. We got Yogi Mock right here. Yeah, what's up? The Yogi Mock? Beep the, beep the HH race. Okay. About to head to a cruise right now with the boys right now. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. It's an old school camera. What the? <laughs> Alright, tell that to your old school transmission. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 In traffic out in the Eduardo. <laughs> Let's hear the cam start up. Oh, 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 oh! oh We are off to the next spot, right, Mr. Yoda? Yeah, maybe. She looks clean. Okay. Yeah. Let's check it out. This is my first, first European. Okay. So when you release it, just know that it's like a. It's okay. Weird. You put the can or what? I'm not used to this. Is this one? No, you put in the wrong key already. Oh shit! Oh shit, guys! I'm not even. <laughs> Come on. You gotta give me a break here. Right, and then you hit it, right? Clutch. Oh, you can move the seat forward. Okay. I have my settings so you can... I feel... I think that's cool right there, actually. I feel good right there. Shout out. What's the YouTube and the IG? Yeah, Check them out. Oh, I'll tag you it right, right there. Let's <laughs> go. Cool. Safety first or what? Yes, sir. Check it out. Okay, this is the first time in... This is an M3. What are these? E, e what? What's the code? E92. E92, okay. I'm not familiar with uh, all, the, all the BMW names, but... <laughs> Feel it, you'll feel it. Oh yeah, it's easy. It feels good. Oh, yeah, hey. <laughs> yeah, they're they're pretty smooth. Yeah, it's fucking it sounds good. See how it grabs okay. at the yeah. high end? Okay. So it's super high end. Fuck, dude, this shit's 
sounds good. They sound good. Watch when you step on it right now if you go down that way. This shit's, I like it. Like, coming <laughs> from a, like a muscle perspective. Yeah. Well, it's like it's German muscle, you yeah, know? No, for sure. Dude, you cannot beat that sound. That <laughs> sounds good, huh? Holy it just sounds beautiful. Sounds I, really good. I really like it. Yeah. Make sure you guys give this man a follow. It's a five speed or six speed? Six speed. Man, it just sounds nice. Ooh. A lot of people can't really rep match it. Yeah. They're not used okay. to it. You actually hit it. <laughs> you actually hit it. That shit was lit. Yeah, and then you can just do a pullback. And just know that it goes up to 9K RPMs. Oh, a lot of people don't yeah, know that. I don't know if I want to take that. Just go all the way to eight and a half. Okay. And just try Damn. it. Damn. Damn, these things rev, rev hell high then. Yeah. Holy shit. You shift, off, <laughs> shift all the way. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It feels just, good. It feels good. Try it. You need to try it. So you can feel the difference. I like it. That's when you feel the difference. When you hit that extra 1K okay. RPM, you'll feel it like, when the fuck? Like, you don't, you'll be like, when am I shifting? Like, right. it's so long, it feels long. So that 1K RPM feels crazier. And it kind of drones, but it's not annoying to me. Like, it just I sounds I love the good. drone, yeah, yeah okay. exactly. I was it gonna say something. Like, a lot of people ask me, how does it the drone? I was like, it drones crazy, but it sounds good. Like, I love the drone. Big shout out to the boy Hugo for letting me drive his M3. Looking very nice build. Guys, go give him a follow right here. But uh, definitely a nice experience with the car and definitely would consider one in the future as well. Okay guys, and after a long day of going out and having fun with some of the homies, it's time to get back to the original project which was finishing the Cobra. And I haven't really told you guys a legit what's really been going on and so to give you guys a little bit of an update, the new engine that I just built uh, was going very well, had no problems with it, the car started out very clean, had no problems, which is very good. So the next day we go to start the car and sure enough, the car begins to lose oil pressure and I'm getting concerned about what's been going on. So this happens, I drain the oil, it's full of material, I'm, I'm just like what? So. We ended up taking it apart. It looks like we had some damage on main cab number five bearing. I'm hoping it's just the bearing. This engine is still saveable, but for now we did get a stock engine. Shout out to Blue Motorsports, and we're going to be running this engine for the time being. I know what you guys are saying. You guys, go, you're going to be in the same boat, Alex. But the thing is, is that with my engine, my engine was actually a remanufactured block, the very first one, and this new engine is actually an 04 engine, and it is really in good shape. It has 19,000 miles. And you guys know that these engines can hold a lot of power and I actually might pull it up just to be safe and have the car, you know, longevity wise, it'll be good. So I'll be happy with that. And a lot of other stuff with my old engine was pre-existing conditions and issues that we've had in the past. So, um, but now we do have the new engine set up ready to go. I just assembled everything, transferred everything, cleaned everything. The breaking news that we found was that we think that when I got the valve covers painted or when I got the valve covers powder coated, there was excess sand in these baffles that were not taken apart. I'm not here to blame no one, but that is what it seems like the issue was. And uh, I'll put some pictures on the screen. You guys can kind of see it, but that's what we think happened. So now all we're doing is this is the old engine. So now all we need to do is transfer the blower to from this to this and we can drop it in. I just thought I'd put the oil pan on, pickup tube on, and we should be ready to go. So please stay tuned throughout the whole video, guys. I really appreciate you guys. If you guys made it to the end, I'll catch you guys next time. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and stay tuned for the Cobra content. I know I've been slacking on it. I know I've been slacking on filming. So if you guys are real OGs and if you guys stuck around, I really appreciate you guys. So um, with that being said, we'll catch you guys in the next video and have a great day. Peace.